Hello, welcome to the Central Kentucky Wildlife Refuge. My name is Ben Miles. I'm the Land Manager and Education Director here at the Wildlife Refuge, and I'm very happy to have a few minutes to tell you a little bit about the Central Kentucky Wildlife Refuge and what, what we do here, some of our habitats, and some of the things you can do when you come visit us. The Central Kentucky Wildlife Refuge is a 500-acre nature preserve in southwestern Boyle County in the Knobs region. It's open every day to the public. You can come out here and hike anytime the sun is up, dawn to dusk. We have about seven miles of hiking trails that is open to the public every day. The Wildlife Refuge is governed by an all local board of directors made up of local uh, volunteers. Um, it was started in the 1960s, so it's been here almost 60 years. And in that time, it has always been a completely locally supported, locally led, and locally managed wildlife refuge. We are supported by the community through generous donations, and we're led by local volunteers. Right now, we're standing close to what we call Island Pond because there's a little habitat island in the middle. And this shows you a little bit of the diverse habitats that we have here at the Wildlife Refuge, from open fields like behind me to the wooded areas, and then the knob far behind me, Huckleberry Ridge, back there. All of this that you can see in your shot right now is part of the Central Kentucky Wildlife Refuge. <laughs> A wide variety of habitats here at the Wildlife Refuge. You've just had a nice view of this field right here. This field is one that we did a prescribed burn on this year in, in early March. So it was all the way down to the ground, black earth, there was no vegetation. And as you can see, there's already a, a nice vegetative response coming back here. This is a lot of native grasses and native wildflowers that we have in this field. And we maintain this field as an open habitat to have a mix of habitats here on the property from the forest to the native grassland, the prairies, which are uh, one of the most endangered habitat types in Kentucky because there's not as many native prairies anymore. So our trail system goes around places like, this is called the Bluebird Trail here. We have a lot of Bluebird boxes, as you can see right there. Um, but this is the Bluebird Trail and it kind of stays around the outside of this field. So it's a pretty sunny hike. But we also have the trail system, which goes into the forest, such as this one here. The trails are pretty well marked with signs like this one. This is the deer trail. It's a short trail, uh, less than half a mile, I think. But it goes from this field right here where you're not out in the sun into a more heavily forested area back this way. So our trail system, as I said before, is about seven miles in total. It's pretty well marked. We have maps at the kiosk as you come in. So you're welcome to come out here and you can pick your own trail from open areas to forested areas hard climbs to easy hikes. Well, this is the deer trail. Um, this is a really nice section of trail, I think. Um, and it's neat because I told you that this, the wildlife refuge is about 60 years old, started in the 1960s. When they founded the wildlife refuge, one of the first projects they did was to plant pine trees on this hillside right here. So some of these pine trees right here, some of them are 60 years old. They were one of the first projects that the Wildlife Refuge undertook as we reforested this area that much of it had been clear cut before the Wildlife Refuge purchased it. So we're here on the, the trail system. Again, this is uh, a difference from the, the open area. This is in the wooded, wooded trail system. It's one of our newer trails, a reroute to uh, correct a place where we had some erosion problems. Again, you're welcome to come out and hike the, the trail system anytime you want during the day. A few things we ask you is that um, if you have a dog and you bring them, the dog must be on a leash at all times. That's always been the rule here at the Wildlife Refuge because we are here for the wildlife habitat and off-leash dogs can be pretty destructive to that. So if you have a dog, keep them on a leash at all times. And we also ask that you practice leave no trace. And that means leave only footprints and take only pictures. If you bring it in, whether it's trash or anything else, make sure you take it out. We don't have trash cans back here because we expect everybody to take the trash out that they bring in. And as you can see around us, it's pretty clean because most of our visitors respect that and we have a very um, good group of people that use it and we keep the place pretty clean. So pack it in, pack it out, take only pictures, leave only footprints, and come for a hike sometime. We are now at the Nature Center here at the Wildlife Refuge. 
you can see behind me there's this pavilion area here and there's also an indoor area which has a lot of interpretive displays and materials and set up for classrooms and field trips. I wanted to make sure and mention this on our video today to tell you that this, this is here for environmental education. Um, we, have, we haven't been doing a lot of classroom field trips in the last year because of COVID, of course, but as things start opening up, students, field trips, homeschool, local schools, uh, 4-H, uh, Boy Scouts, those kind of groups, if they want to come use this, they can contact me. You can reserve this, you can use the inside. We also have some environmental education lesson plans and activities which we can help um, set up classroom type activities for folks if they want to come out. So if you want to use the Nature Center, please just contact me and we can set that up. Central Kentucky Wildlife Refuge. I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of the wildlife we have here. I chose this spot because um, Right now, in May, we have the return of a lot of the migratory bird species. So just a week ago right here, I was watching a pair of indigo buntings who had just arrived. Indigo bunting is a bright blue bird. It's a deeper blue than the bluebird, uh, the eastern bluebird that you see a lot of. The indigo bunting is a darker blue. And the summer tanager, scarlet tanager, both, both of those are also the neotropical migrants. So those birds spent the winter in Central America or Northern South America or the Caribbean and they, they're about yay big, and they flew all the way from Central America under their own power all the way back here to Forkland. And one thing that's kind of neat about the indigo bunting is it will nest in the same site year after year after year. So the indigo bunting that I was watching right here just a few days ago, somehow knew to fly, was probably nested here last year, spent the winter in Central America, and flew all the way back here to Forkland to make its nest here again. And one of the things about the, the uh, indigo, bunt, indigo bunting is they like a diversity of habitats. And that's what we're trying to maintain here at the Wildlife Refuge, from the fields to the forest to reforested areas, places that we're allowing to grow up in wildflowers and other species. So we're trying to have that diversity of, of, of habitat types, which supports a lot of wildlife. In addition to those migratory birds, we also have, uh, I've seen bobcat, uh, of course, a lot of deer. We have foxes. We have beavers, we have reptiles such as turtles and snakes, some venomous, but we don't see too many of those, a lot of non-venomous snakes. And of course, a lot of birds, including songbirds and raptors. And all of that is supported by this 500 acre refuge, wildlife refuge, which is supported by our local community. So by supporting the wildlife refuge, you're helping to make a place, a home, a habitat for all those different species that come here to Fork. Okay, thank you all very much for spending a little time with us. I hope you learned a little bit about the Central Kentucky Wildlife Refuge. I hope you've been here before. Whether you've been here before or not, I hope you'll come back and visit us sometime. Trails are open every day. Um, and again, we're locally supported. So your donation to the Central Kentucky Wildlife Refuge is what makes all this possible. And we really appreciate the support of our community. So come out here and visit us. It's a beautiful place in the knobs of Boyle County. And we look forward to seeing you on the trail sometime soon. Mm -hmm.